The Ramayana, written thousands of years ago, tells the story of Lord Rama's journey to rescue Sita from Ravana. According to the epic, his army of monkeys led by Nala and Nila built a bridge from Ramaswaram in Tamil Nadu to Lanka, using floating stones. The bridge was said to span over 30 kilometers, allowing Rama and his army to cross the ocean on foot. For millions of Hindus, this isn't just a story, it's a matter of faith, passed down through generations. In 2002, NASA released satellite images showing a chain of sandbanks and shoals under shallow waters, looking eerily like a submerged bridge. This sparked global curiosity. Could the Ramayana be based on actual events? Geological studies say the structure is made of limestone and sand formed around 7,000 years ago. But here's the twist. Some archaeologists believe it's not natural. They found signs of human activity. Ancient man-made rocks placed in patterns inconsistent with typical coral formations. In the early 2000s, the Indian government planned the Sathusamudram shipping canal project, which would require dredging part of the bridge. This led to nationwide protests. Religious leaders, historians, and citizens argued, you're destroying not just an ecosystem, but sacred heritage. The Supreme Court got involved, scientific panels were sent, opinions clashed, even today there is no consensus. Some call it a myth, others a miracle, some say man-made, others nature's fluke. Whether Ram Setu was built by divine hands or carved by nature's will, one thing is certain. It continues to inspire awe. Pilgrims visit Ramaswaram to pay tribute. Divers explore the shallow waters in search of proof. Scientists still debate its origin. Believers feel no need for proof. Maybe just maybe ye faith doesn't always need evidence. Sometimes a mystery is more powerful than an answer. So, what do you believe? Is Ram Setu just a natural formation or a monument of ancient engineering? Forgotten by time, remembered by faith? Drop your thoughts in the comments like, share, and subscribe if you believe that some stories are too big to be legends,